cross your feet the same to hold and to hold the signs yes you see a pair of teeny shoes on my table and what am i going to do to them um i'm fixing to rock the hell out of cinnabar style on these shoes i have got a plethora of stuff here i have a large uh, variety of different uh, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and as I use these colors they will go across the screen for you to if you should uh, want to order any of those I have appliques from creating my details we're talking gorgeous appliques look at that yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, trim paper uh, flowers I have rhinestones I even have gold flakes, numbers, bigger flowers, just a bunch of stuff and buttons. You know, you can't go uh, without buttons. Again, just a bunch of stuff to um, adorn these shoes. Now, um, I went ahead and I have painted this shoes all the way up through here. I don't want to go around the heel. So I, I put, um, use Prima's uh, Finnabar Art Basics Heavy Gesso. This stuff is the bomb. This is, um, Finnabar knows exactly what she's doing. This stuff is the bomb. And you, it's, you get 17 fluid ounces. Um, if this is something you would like me to carry, let me know in the description box down below. Um, because I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of mixed media fixing to hit my YouTube. All right, so um, I painted it from this point. Sorry about that. Uh, my husband and my daughter are at the grocery store. So uh, I stuffed the, the shoes so that I can get the fullness right here. You know, you don't want them too stuffed. But... Um, Again, I took that gesso there and I painted because my concentration is going to be from here to about here on the shoe on either side. I am not doing the inside of the shoe. In fact, over here, I just went up just a little bit right here. And these are canvassy uh, material. They're just regular Walmart special um, tennis shoes. They're, I got them for five bucks. Um, they're not Keds, they're not a fancy shoe or anything, just a Walmart special. But they're about to be fancy. Okay, so, um, I'm going to start off, I'm hoping my, t my, uh, fabric tack here, tacky glue, oh my gosh, I have not used this in forever. There, ready to go. Okay, so just get your brush, just a regular white brush, and you're going to start fabber tack, fabber tack, fabber, is that a word, fabber tack, fabber tacky, fabber. Okay, so I am going to start building my foundation with my stuff. So I like that placement, so I'm just going to start. Tacking this on. Now, before I finish, I want to try to make my shoes as much the same as possible. Like, okay. Tack that down. Just work with this. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I have done here is went ahead while I was talking on the phone. Um, I have glued these appliques on here. Um, May's, her appliques that she finds exclusively just beautiful. I mean, stunning. Uh, and they, they're just beautiful. 
just absolutely stunning. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some texture um, along here. As I'm building the background because when you do a Cinnabar inspired product project, you've got to build the background up. So this is a piece of burlap that I'm taking the threads from. And I'm going to use the threads. And uh, a lot of people don't understand cinnabar. Um, why you 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 cover up some things and don't cover up others? That's because it's it's just the art of it. Art is not with rules. It is how you interpret art. If you put a restriction on the proper way you think things need to be done, you're not having fun. And art is fun. So, now what I'm going to do is just take some of these and and yes, I'm going to go over the applique because I have got to build texture and this is the process of doing that. Okay, so now what we're going, to, what I'm going to do, see I have it on that side, I have texture on that side. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just start uh, building, putting uh, all these little doodads I've pulled out on here. I'm going to put some flowers on here, uh, pieces of trim on here, um, leftover, you know, just different things that I have here. You know, like little beads and just filler beads. These are just like a little bag of filler beads. Um, so the video is going to be speeded up. And uh, enjoy the uh, adding the embellishment process. Okay. So let's get started.
Okay, now I've glued various pieces on each shoe. Now, the second, the, well, the third step, or fourth step, whatever you want to call it, you're going to take the same white gesso, heavy gesso, and you're going to paint white gesso over all of this. And you're going to do it on both shoes. And th what this does is, is when you do this, um, it, it begins your, uh, process of doing, of the, the Finnabar process. I mean, uh, the, getting the color on there because when you start spraying your sprays on there, you're going to want a canvas and use a small brush. Now. Sometimes I leave certain things alone. Like I will go ahead and paint over all of the little beadwork here and everything. Paint over this right here. Because if you don't paint the gesso over the, pe the, the slick pieces here, your color sprays will not work. It will not adhere to them or anything. Also, your fibers. You want to do the same thing. And the overlay here, I will clip off. But right now, I just want to make sure I have gesso on all of the little pieces. Like, now this pearl here, I'm going to do it lightly. This, the roses here, I do want a touch of the pink in there. So I'm only lightly coloring over the roses. And then these acrylic pieces, your buttons, get down into the crevices of things like this. Be generous with your gesso. Cover what you want. Un, you know, and not paint over what you don't want to paint over. And you will have to let this dry. You can try to dry it with a heat gun, but I would just let it set it in front of a fan or something. Um, but for the purposes of video, of course, um, I'm already an hour into the process. And or about almost two hours into the process, but it seems a lot less in the video. So because I have to wait, let it dry, and do its job. Okay. And you're gonna just keep doing this process over and over and trust me I am not done adding things <laughs> I like I said you've got to build your base you have got to build your base bring it on out right there bring it on out You're going to do the same thing for the next the uh, next shoe, and again, get in those crevices. You'll want to get into those really well. And you don't want to put uh, bulky, really, really, really bulky items on your shoes because you got to think if you're going to wear these, they might get snagged on something, and. Um, you know, these are shoes that you wear out with a special outfit when, or going to a crop or, you know, something creative, I think. Or you can just wear them anytime you want. Um, but please note that, you know, 
you have to take care in them when doing that. So, all right, so this shoe is complete enough for me to be satisfied with the result here. I'm just, and now I'm going to let it dry. And there you go. That's what you want right there. See, you see, I got color popping out everywhere, but everything else is white. So that's exactly what I want. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside and paint the other one, and then I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, ladies. Whew. Now these are dry. And I put black electrical tape along the rubber edge here because I don't want that colored. Um, and I'm not too worried about this up in here because you you do want some uh, color. You'll just see how it works and stuff. So the first thing you need to think about is like a focal point. And with uh, Vina Barr's, um style, if you look at a lot of her projects, there is one focal point of light. There is one area of light. And the focal point is normally a picture um, or just an abstract design. So um, my focal point is going to be, and I'm going to hot glue this onto here because it's all dry, um, is going to be like right in here is going to be my lighter area and then I'm going to go darker as I go around so and these little flowers here are just from a trim out of my personal collection and I found them and I wanted to use them because I thought they would be pretty and they will take color, some some color, but not a lot, which is cool. Okay, so now I'm going to spray in a, in the the colors that I want, and then um, then after I get done spraying it. I'm going to add bling to it. You know, like I've got this color bling, and I don't know, I've got some applique here. I've got some rhinestone trim here. I've got uh, this headband here with these uh, flowers. I have rhinestone chain. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to spray. And I'm also going to add a few more. Um, of these paper roses these are teeny tiny roses a lot of people ask me where I get my roses and I get them from um, wild orchid crafts um, generally is where everybody gets their flowers so but these I'm gonna leave uncolored I mean unpainted uh, with gesso because when I spray them I want them to take on a different look. So I'm going to put one more right there. Okay. There we go. Do I have any? I have more. I just got to go get them. But I'm going to show you on this shoe first. I'm going to set this shoe aside. Because we got to do this one at a time. Okay. So. My focal point is going to be right here. And I'm doing. I pulled out a bunch of colors of Lindy Stamp Gang. Now Lindy Stamp Gang is one of my favorite companies. Um, to use with Cinnabar. They have a wide variety of color. I like Prima's colors. I like Lindy's. Uh, I am just very partial um, to Lindy. And as you can see, I pulled out greens, purples, and blues. And you want to give each of these a good shake. And I'll tell you some of my colors. 
Now, I used to sell these in my store, when I, uh, but a lot of people are not, you know. I didn't have a, a lot of people that wanted them, so I stopped selling them, but I buy them for myself, so, because <laughs> I love them to death. Um, but you can go to Lindy's, um, lindystepgain.com, and you can order these colors. They are, they're always coming out with different colors, and they've got these tried and true colors. And uh, also, I encourage you to go on YouTube and look up how to use Lindy Stamp Gain sprays. Um, and there are great tutorials out there uh, for you to do that. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's Fuzzy Navel Peach. And what I'm going to do is create a, a focal point here. Okay, that's all you do. You spray that. Then you're going to get your shoe here. You're going to spray there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in with, let's go in with a touch of Magnolia Magenta Gold. Now, see, my shimmer's down there at the bottom. And you've got to shake these very well because I haven't used these in a while. There we go. All right, now I'm going to start, I'm going to get really into concentrating area right there, see, then you're going to go over here and do the same thing, now I'm going to go in with a darker fuchsia color, and this one is Sweet Violet purple teal okay
Okay, here is the finished, almost finished um, product. As you can see here, pretty cool. I went all around and then I stopped right here on both shoes. As you can see there, I stopped right here. Now what I'm going to do is hand write the word dream on this side and inspire on this side as if you're walking in my shoes because I dream all the time to inspire the world.
we'll watch this. Get you a little bit of acrylic paint. Get you a stylist. Put a little bit of paint in your cap there because you don't need much. You take your small stylus and then you start highlighting And you start highlighting. And I hope you can see what I'm doing here. And you just want to highlight certain areas. You know, it doesn't. I'm just doing a little bit. Nothing. Just, you know, go back over. There we go. Pay attention to fonts, uh, like um, to learn, you know, where to highlight and stuff. Pay attention to uh, fonts and magazines and newspapers and commercials and advertisements everywhere. So, just a little bit. Nothing. Nothing drastic. Nope. Oh, we got a new kitten. Uh, we got it for my daughter because of her other cat passing away. We adopted him from a shelter, as we have done all of our fur babies. And he is the cutest damn thing. He's like got he's double. He's like he's got like a double coat on him and uh, he's really thick fat and he's got short little stubby legs. Come here. Let me show you all. Come here. Come here. Romeo. Come here. Oh, look at him. He's just a little baby. He's just so cute. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Yeah. See he's got little legs. He's got little stubby legs. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Don't lose me now. Okay. Just a little touch, just a little touch. Now, the final thing um, are the shoestrings. 
the Wendy stamp game. So, I'm going to let y'all tell me. Um, should I die? I, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to die. I'm going to show you how to do it, too. Odin! Hey, what's your supper? Romeo, get out of there. What's your supper? I don't know. I'm recording. Okay, so we're going to dye these. Bagel bottles. Bagel bites? I guess heat me up some too. So what I'm going to do is... Hmm. I am going to dye them the fuchsia color. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, you can do one of two options. You can go and waste a bunch of product, or you can do this. Let me get some tweezers. Just stuff it in there. Hold on to the tip there. Swirl it around in there. Okay. Find the tip like that. Okay. Take your thumb. Press very hard and pull, shit, and pull without spilling. You're straining it out like this, see? You're straining it as you go. And there you go. You're going to do the same thing. You're not wasting product. You're not spraying up, making a big old mess. Although I made one there. And Gonna do it again. There you go. Put a lid on it. Set it aside. Um, now take your heat gun and just go over them rather quickly. fun touch to it get back to your gold marker and gold tip the um, the ends of your shoestring like that That gives it, that brings in the gold that is all through the shoe. Like 
that. And I'll tell you something else you can do to And you can get this leafing pen at Michael Joanne's Hobby Lobby. It'll be in the painting section. Um, just take it and kind of brush a little bit of gold onto the shoestring itself. So it'll just, you know, add a little bit of gold to it. Just a little bit of gold to it. Here, here. Oh, there's a knot in it. So, again, if you have any questions about any of the products that I've used in here, please let me know. I'll put a list of the colors of Wendy's Stamp Gang down in the description box. Um, the colors that I used. I'll also put a link in the description box as well. Um, and this is called a gold leafing pen. I'll put the name and everything of that one as well as the Uniball. Um, I'm sure everybody's familiar with Uniball. They you know, make a lot of pens. So now I'm going to go back to the shoes itself. And let's see what it looks like. Near, 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 near. Oh yeah. It needed that. <laughs> yes, it did. Now, also, you can just use ribbon, but I think if you use ribbon, you know, it would be cool too. Also, if you use um, if you use uh, like a black and white, I think a black and white checkered uh, shoestring would look freaking awesome with this. And uh, I have to make sure my shoestrings are even. Um, freaking awesome with this. But I don't have black and white shoestrings. So I have to do deal with what I do have. Now, I will be making another pair of shoes. Um, and I'll show you the style of shoes that I will be making. Um, but they're going to be more shabby chic. Um, because these are my artistic shoes. Um, I am open to um, commissioned work on making a pair for people. Um, but I will tell you, in total, I've had seven hours of work. So, I mean, we can discuss the price if you're interested. <laughs> Look at that. Because there's a lot of bling, a lot of expensive bling on here. And I'm running low. No, I'm not running low. I'm running low, but I'm not running low. I've got some hoarded, so. But I'm, I'm going to have to purchase some more appliques from Creating with Details because this is. Her appliques are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Amazing. So, again, I want to thank everybody that watches my sh channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers this year. I'm almost 40,000. I just got 60,000 to go. <laughs> but I have a feeling we might be able to do it. I'm hoping we'll be able to do it. But I have a really good feeling. So just share my channel and tell everybody about my channel what I do it's a little bit of everything um, it's teaching you it's talking about life it's talking about lifestyle makeup you know whatever I want to talk about it's up in there so there you go a beautiful pair of Finnabar style shoes <laughs> so thank you so much and I uh, love you all and I will see you in the next video Bye-bye.